How do you feel about the city's proposed budget cuts to arts and culture? People, like some people, instead of like, who live in like rougher neighborhoods, instead of turning to the streets, they put their time into their art or into their rap or, you know, their poetry, whatever it may be. So it's so important that we have these um, creative outlooks for the community. We are the solution. Art and culture bridges communities and gives comfort to those experiencing personal and social tribulations. Art helps people express themselves and their differences, giving space for love, happiness, and justice. Art isn't just a part of Philadelphia, it is Philadelphia. Fund Black Future! I'm gonna say it again, defund the PPD! The city needs to invest in the places that are gonna make it money, and the economic engine is the arts and culture. And art really helped me know myself. Opening space for people to speak up. It's it's always important simply because that we're always forgotten, you know, um, you know, like, cause even, you know, like even within, let's, I'm gonna give you an example, like when it comes to like Hollywood, you know, um, you know, cause I've styled a few movies and stuff like that. Uh, but like even in Hollywood, you know, throughout their history. The solution to defunding the police and reinvesting back into arts and culture and other social services and educational programming, obviously, is that that is the solution to tackling violence and to addressing these oppressive systems. Through our artwork, we are providing that sense of healing. We are addressing these real issues in our communities. So I see it more so as, not as a cure, but more so as a spark or more so a healing process. The arts and culture sector creates an economic impact of 4.1 billion dollars. We need 15% of that ridiculous budget, $125 million. The amount the PPD's budget has increased since Mayor Kenny took office. We're taking it back to support black and brown artists in Philadelphia. I believe six or seven small arts nonprofits that decided to create um, a, a platform of de demands um, around the budget, mainly like I was saying to fund essential services, to defund the police department, starting with getting rid of the increase, 14 million, and then also bringing it down lower, funding essential services, like the ones that I listed, and restoring funding to the arts. So those are the main three demands. To think about what these kids are being deprived of. These are organizations that are providing um, either in school arts education, they are providing after school programs, they're providing summer programs, they're providing internships, um, apprenticeships, they're providing context for what these children are feeling. And they also work with adults too, but they're actually helping us navigate this moment right now, being able to give voice to the things we're feeling, but also provide an opportunity to vision something different. So the cultural fund has developed an ability to tell the story of the organizations that are coming through um, the cultural fund, where they work, the type of communities that they're impacting, the areas in the city that have the highest numbers of children, sometimes the lowest level of socioeconomic um, like buoyancy, um, areas that may have like really high crime, um, or even low health disparities. The, the arts and culture communities that are supported by the cultural fund are working in those areas. And here we are with $1 million. Creating this new story for Philly Cam Voices wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for funding for the arts and culture in Philadelphia. If we do not get substantial funding, programs like Philly Cam Voices may not thrive. If you're interested in getting involved in helping save the arts, you can visit any of these sites for more information. Or, if you want to know more about the artists in this piece, you can see their Instagram pages. I'm Shania, signing off of Philly Cam's Voices of the first Arts to Work cohort, hoping in the future that there will be more.